He was always the life of the party. He was gonna always make you laugh. He was gonna say something silly, make a silly face. He was just, he was a big teddy bear. Warren Johnson was a proud father, grandfather, and a devoted husband to Shakira. The pair dated back in high school, but was given a second chance at love later in life. We were pretty much inseparable from January 2020 until last month in July. And then we got married in August 21st, 2021. Warren was a corrections officer for over two decades. In 2019, he started working at the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office. He was a great person to work with. A good conversationalist can talk about almost anything, um, especially when it comes to the job. Uh, even though he wasn't there for a long time, he knew the ins and outs of the place. Warren was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes as an adult. Due to his illness, Warren had forms from the American Disability Act and the Family and Medical Leave Act requiring breaks throughout his shift. He did need to have certain snack breaks, which would allow him to go and check his blood sugar and take insulin if needed and to get a snack. But Warren did not receive those scheduled breaks, which resulted in several trips to the hospital from work for his diabetes. The worst incident occurred on June 19th, 2022. They were on the floor. He didn't look good. He looked lethargic and they sent him down to medical and his sugar was 575. So he got to the emergency room and the doctor did come in and confirm that due to the high sugar levels, his body had gone into DKA. DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis is a life threatening complication of diabetes. Over the next two weeks, Warren was in and out of the hospital. On June 29th, he went back by ambulance. That morning is when he started to have some changes, that he was just doing some constant movement, rolling back and forth, and then I started to notice he was grinding his teeth and had the hiccups, so I then proceeded to call 911. Warren had suffered a stroke from a blood clot in his brain. I would stay there all day pretty much, and my family came, his family, to make sure that we were there with him. Everything was looking good at first, and we thought it was gonna be a positive prognosis, but then as it went downhill, it was very sad. Two days later on July 1st, Warren had a second stroke. His health continued to decline. Sunday morning at about 2.30, I received a phone call that he had had brain swelling in the night and lost most of his brain function and they couldn't guarantee that he would make it through the morning. Later that afternoon on July 3rd, Warren Johnson passed away at 45 years old. <sighs> I cry every day sometimes a couple times a day. And as our anniversary is approaching, it's super hard to me to know that I'm gonna spend my anniversary at the cemetery. Three weeks after Warren's passing, Shakir went to the sheriff's office to pick up his belongings. They had thrown everything into a trash bag. No box, nothing. They, everything that was in his locker, they just took it and tossed it into a clear trash bag and tied it in a knot and handed it to me. It made me feel like they tossed him out like trash. Less than one year after their wedding day, Shakira is mourning the loss of her husband. It's a loss Shakira believes was preventable. A lot of the, the missed breaks didn't help with his sugar, and that was something that had been ongoing for quite some time, quite some time. So it, it was hurtful and it was upsetting because it also made me feel like with the lack of him not receiving what he was supposed to, it did affect his health care, which put him in a bad place and we lost him.